Where that gets tricky though, is if I've got my remote location where I'm enjoying my content here, a couple hundred feet away, and my primary site here is where the media equipment is located, there's no way from that upstairs bedroom I can point this at the den and actually control the content. So in the case of extending the HDMI media content, you need some way to pick up the infrared remote control signals at that second location, turn those into a digital signal, send that back to the primary location over whatever medium you're using, whether it's a, a LAN cable or wireless connection between those sites, send that back to the primary location, and most importantly, rebroadcast it in its original form so the receiver on the piece of equipment you're trying to control can pick it up. So in a lot of ways, it's a simple procedure, but it's complicated. And with the O-Ray equipment, we include infrared blasters in most of the kits. It solves all those problems for you because if you didn't have this and you were setting up an infrared, uh, I should say an HDMI extension kit, you would have zero control over the content from that remote location. So you'd have no way to pause it, fast forward, rewind, any control whatsoever over the media equipment. The minute you add a set of infrared blasters, Complete control. You have complete control from this end over the media content that's located at the primary site. That same feature is available if you're locating this inside of a cabinet, which is essentially what I've done here, is I put it behind some opaque surface where the infrared signals can't penetrate. You can locate this outside of your media cabinet, plug that end into your audio video gear, and still use your infrared remote control even though you can't see the equipment. So it's a pretty incredible system to use, and it works really, really well.